is security compliance because the reason why people are getting hacked, the reason why Target lost, I don't know, a million records, and the reason why, who else, T-Mobile lost a million records, is usually having to do with security compliance. I'll tell you guys like a real huge eye-opener for me was reading that report. Let me see if I can bring it up. The DNC got hacked. The Democratic National Committee got hacked, right? This is very controversial. It's very polarizing. But if you actually read what happened, <laughs> if you're a security person, you have to read this. If you are watching me right now and you are a security person, forget about the politics of this. Forget about the politics. You can read this wiki page right here about how the Democratic National Committee got hacked. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. You know how they got hacked? So do you guys remember the Mueller report? Read the Mueller report too. Very detailed. It's fascinating. It tells you, oh my goodness. It's a deep dive into what's happening between countries right now. It is absolutely fascinating. Look beyond all the politics. Look at the facts and the data. Look at how they actually hacked autopsy report of these hacks are. Fascinating. I'll give you a bird's eye view of it. So what they determined, the FBI, the CIA, after it's all said and done, right? They actually took the logs from the computers. They also looked into what happened with what was publicly released on WikiLeaks. So what happened was hackers from Russia, right? State-sponsored sponsored hackers from Russia attacked the Democratic National Committee. And actually, they, they hacked many other organizations other than that one. But these guys got hit the hardest. So they hacked into it. And the way that they did it, was they did a phishing attack. Now think about that. They did a phishing attack on one of the admins. They got in via a phishing, they, on an email. An email came in, somebody clicked the link, and it put a worm on somebody's system. And then they got in that way. So the reason why this is fascinating, especially for if you're, if you're into cyber threat intelligence, if you're into, if you're into security compliance, if you're into any kind of cybersecurity, period, Fascinating. Here's why. If they had had basic security awareness, that phishing attack could have been avoided. But here's the thing. You can't avoid all 100% of all phishing attacks, especially if it's spear phishing, which is what they did, right? That means it's very targeted. They knew the person's name. They knew the organization's name. They knew how to make it exact. The actual emails look exactly like it would appear if it came from one of your colleagues. That's what they are spear phishing. But if you had basic security awareness, if these people had been beaten into their heads about basic security awareness, this would not have happened. Number one. But even if it did, because you can't avoid 100% of them, right? You're going to get 3%, 2% of people who click on that link no matter what. No matter what. But here's the thing. If they had hardened the inside of their network, the hackers wouldn't have got that far. Because once they got in... They put some kind of a virus in there and it allowed them to escalate their privileges until they were able to actually get a hold of some of their critical files. I got a few questions. Why were their critical files so accessible? Why weren't those critical files separated, right? If they're important to your organization, if these things can destroy your campaign, why wouldn't you put them encrypted on a whole nother server that's super hard for even your admins to get to, right? Why would you put critical emails available for all the world to see unencrypted? If your campaign depends on the flow of data going back and forth, data in transit, why wouldn't you encrypt all of it? Even if the hackers got the emails, it would have been encrypted and they couldn't see it. They didn't have none of that. They didn't have encryption. They didn't have data encryption. They didn't, have, they didn't harden the inside of their systems, which a lot of organizations don't. They probably had great firewalls, but what's a firewall going to do? If you're just let, if you're opening the damn door to let people in, fascinating. You got to read this. The Mueller report, absolutely fascinating. And I'm only scratching the surface. All they had to do was basic security compliance, and none of this would have happened, right? None of it would have happened. Probably would have had a completely different outcome for the presidency too. You know, whether you're for or against it doesn't matter. If you're a cybersecurity person, like this right here, is very intriguing. Let me see. 
Let me see. Reading some of you guys' comments.